Okay, so for this equation, we're going to use the annihilator method to solve it, and this is different than the undetermined coefficients and variation of parameters. So think of this as a third method for solving inhomogeneous second-order equations. So the first step of this process is to rewrite that left-hand side using our differential operators. So step one is rewrite this. So y double prime is the same thing as d squared, six times, right, there I go, six times d, I should say, and then plus nine. Again, this operator is being applied to y and that is equal to our x plus the sine of 2x. So again, think of this as this derivative process here is being applied to y to get this. So the next thing we want to do is now think about what annihilates the right-hand side. If you look at it, it's going to take a d squared to annihilate the x and a d squared plus 4 to annihilate the sine of 2x. So it's going to be the product of these that annihilate both terms of the right-hand side. So we now multiply or apply, really is the correct way of thinking about it, we're going to apply these two operators to the equation. So we're going to apply d squared and apply d squared plus 4 with the d squared minus 6d plus 9. And again, this is all being applied to y. And that's going to be matching up with d squared, d squared plus 4 being applied to the right-hand side, which is going to be x plus the sine of 2x. Okay, so now... We're going to go through, and once these two annihilators hit these two terms, we're going to get zero. So we're looking at d squared, d squared plus 4, d squared minus 6d plus 9, applied to y, equaling zero. And now if you look at that last factor, you can factor it as a d minus 3 squared. So those are actually all of the operators that are being applied to our differential equation. So now what we need to do is go in and look at the solutions generated from this. So the d squared, again, that eliminates a general linear function. The d squared plus 4 that's the annihilator for a cosine of 2x, sine of 2x. All right, and then our d minus 3 squared is going to give us an e to the 3x and an x e to the 3x. So our solution then is going to be a linear combination of all of these terms. We're going to have our y of x. being a c1 e to the 3x plus a c2 x e to the 3x. And then we're going to have our linear ax plus b. And then we're going to have our trigonometric c cosine of 2x and then a capital D sine of 2x. And now what we can do is we can now take this and use the undetermined coefficients method to find the values of A, B, C, and D. So we will do that in the next video. We'll go through and find those constants.